Well, the death involving an autonomous vehicle in Arizona this week is a reminder that artificial intelligence is still in its infancy. But the race is on to develop the most advanced AI systems, particularly for military application. And while a recent Oxford study suggests the United States is currently leading the way, China's size and investment potential suggest it will likely outpace its competitors in the future. Al Sakania Kania is a Fulbright specialist in the International Cyber Policy Centre at the Australian Strategic Policy. We spoke about this recent death. I think certainly the incident was a tragedy and one that illustrates the fact that although self-driving cars are increasingly on the roads and autonomous vehicles as an industry are uh, progressing quite rapidly, this technology remains immature and can be quite brittle or uh, limited in unexpected circumstances. So I'm not aware of the precise cause for this particular tragedy, but if I... If I'm recalling the media reports correctly, one interesting detail in this case was that there actually was a driver behind the wheel of the autonomous vehicle as a safeguard, and yet even having a human notionally in a position to step in and take, take control did not end up averting the tragedy. Fascinating. Your work focuses a lot on the military side of things as well. Who is leading the field around the world? In many respects, the U.S. military, with what's known as the Third Offset Strategy, uh, launched under the prior administration, which focused on pursuit of technologies like uh, artificial intelligence and autonomy, with a focus on human-machine teaming. That was, in, in many respects, the start to this focus on uh, how artificial intelligence might transform warfare. The Chinese military, the People's Liberation Army, or PLA, has uh, been paying close attention to the U.S. pursuit of defense innovation. And as I argued in my report, Battlefield Singularity, I released through the Center for New American Security last fall, and the Chinese military, the PLA, appears to see an opportunity to try to keep pace with or perhaps even surpass the U.S. in a technology that they see as critical to or perhaps transforming uh, the character of conflict uh, in future warfare. And give us an idea, Elsa, of, of those applications. How m might we see this supplied? So some of the initial work within the U.S. Department of Defense has occurred under the aegis of Project MAVEN, which has focused on how machine learning might be applied to essentially basic intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance type functions. So for instance, the processing of massive amounts of video imagery from unmanned aerial vehicles in order to uh, increase the efficiency and reduce the need for human analysts to spend hours upon hours staring at footage. So cer certain basic AI techniques and technologies such as uh, co computer vision and pattern recognition can can have a, qu a fair amount of utility applied in these sorts of cases so far and looking to the Chinese military's research and development and certainly a lot of overlap between the functions and applications that the U.S. and China are pursuing in this case but one notable application that the Chinese military seems to be focused on is the development of swarms, uh, swarm intelligence or autonomous swarms of uh, right now, up, what, right, right now, over 100, perhaps in the future, even thousands of drones that could be used asymmetrically to target high-value U.S. weapons platforms, such as fighter jets or aircraft carriers, with the intention to saturate their defenses. There's also a major focus, for instance, on the use of artificial intelligence to enable decision support, to support the uh, more rapid decision-making by a commander on the battlefield who is trying to deal with a complex, uncertain environment. And Elsa, in terms of, you know, we have nuclear proliferation treaties amongst countries around the world, do you think there's going to be the need for something like this down the track in terms of domination and security? I think that given artificial intelligence and the variety of techniques and technologies under the umbrella of this discipline uh, is so complex, multifaceted, and evolving so rapidly that even AI experts uh, disagree wildly on what its future may hold, I think that given that level of uncertainty, it seems... It's, it seems that no major military wants to tie their hands when they don't know how much of an, adv of an advantage this might provide. I think also the fact that artificial intelligence development is driven uh, primarily by the commercial sector means that these technologies are not, not merely the foray of uh, major uh, defense industries and nation states as military technologies have been in the past, but increasingly advanced by a very globalized, dynamic private sector. So these technological developments can diffuse very rapidly. The knowledge required can spread and be shared quite quickly. So I think that certainly it will be hard to control 
And as, as a technology, many aspects of artificial intelligence are inherently dual or even omni-use, given that uh, an algorithm used for facial recognition could be used to uh, enable surveillance, it could be used to enable you to pay with your face at an autonomous store, or it could be used to enable targeting on the battlefield. So certainly any given uh, technique or technology can have multiple uses across a range of applications. So I think I think that definitely it, it will be worth uh, evaluating the opportunities to constrain the pursuit of military applications of AI and to uh, concentrate on mitigating some of the risks that may arise in the process, but I, I remain skeptical that 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 a full ban could could be effective. Though I certainly, I'm encouraged to see a num number of f number of folks trying to work on these issues and explore whether there is a viable path forward for some sort of regulation or treaty mechanism. Also, fascinating future ahead. Thanks so much for joining us. I uh, thank you.